so Chinese culture is rooted in Confucianism, which is a highly pa patriarchal, educational, disciplined system of layers of, of order. Uh, from the family to the teacher to the elder to the brother and uh, the five major relationships and to government, to the king. And there is a form of subservience and service uh, to them. Uh, when the Chinese political, uh, the new Chinese political uh, thinking which ex is expressed in uh, socialism with Chinese characteristics and universal socialism. They try to distill the greatest civilizational ideas and they are also obviously the achievements of enlightened society, of science and of technology and of modern, and of modern instruments. So the Chinese did bring all of these incredible advancements into into the, the a community structure inspired by the Confucian idea. In counter distinction to this, the Jewish ideas, which perme uh, which are permeated in the Bible and in the Judeo-Christian and Islamic traditions, see the individual as the expression of the divine. And that is expressed in so many different ways, and especially the biblical literature that see that the king is one of a of a, a series of leaders and inspirers, from the priest and to the prophet to the elders to the uh, to to the Nazarite to the Levi to the firstborn. There are many different leadership models, but they seem to all come through the expression of the individual, uh, the idea of fairness and equality uh, between everybody and the, the expression of individual autonomy and the rights of the individual, the rights which are expressed in the Ten Commandments to ownership, to rest, to the relationship with your family, to the rights to have a household and not to be uh, and not to be imposed on by strangers. I believe this counter dialectic to the Chinese system is critical at this point because there are signs that Western governments are adopting some of the successes of the Chinese system but they are short-term successes because they cast into iron a system, a, a, an attitude that champions groups or individuals or classes over every individual. And so now that we have these very powerful AI-driven instruments, if we allow for small groups or for countries or for ideologies or for governments and their changing or ill-conceived uh, ideas to be cast into an iron, they will become so powerful and very, very, and very difficult to, to, to challenge. It is therefore critical at this time to place into into counter distinction and as a counter narrative to the Chinese position that the individual is the fountainhead of AI driven instruments to the individual satisfaction and these this should be uh, structured with advanced instruments and individuals should be given the right to use and to exercise these instruments going forward in order to uh, secure their own happiness, their own destinies, their own satisfaction according to their own imagination.